So we're going to stick with Bill for this tutorial as well. However, we're going to give Bill a Bill Y as well. And you'll see why in a minute. That was awful. Um, and this will be if we divide 80, 80 by 2, that's 540. So 540 minus 64, remember? Screen, half the screen, minus half the object. And you get the middle. I'm going to draw Bill Y. General update. If gdx.input.is touched, it's pretty f important. All right. Are, are, are we touching the screen? Did a finger press it? If so, then you can perform this. If not, don't do shit. All right. One question you might be asking is, why is it touched? Well, you've got to remember that libgdx also supports mobile, you know, along with desktop. So input is touched. Next, we're going to create a new object, and this is going to be a vector three. And this is this is literally an object just for our touch. Okay. Now this touch equal a new vector three. All right. Uh. And we're going to pass through into this general update. We're going to be passing through touch. And I also want to pass through the camera. So here we're going to do vector 3 touch. And I also want to pass through the orthographic camera. See why. So touch dot set. And we're going to set touch to uh, gdx dot input dot get x. Uh, uh, gdx dot input dot get y and there is a third parameter because uh, vector threes are three dimensional and we're just going to put o because we haven't got a third dimension uh, why have I done that? no sorry and we're going to camera dot unproject okay so what this does is uh, because we've got a 1920 by 1080 canvas okay we're going to touch it on the screen um, but it, it thinks the touch is been on a 1920 by 1080 uh, display. So say we're running it in 720p mode, which we currently are. Uh, it still thinks that we're running it in 1080. So what this camera that unproject touches, it translates that touch to what our resolution actually is. Okay, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I'm re I, I'm really scared that in a, in all these tutorials I make zero sense. Uh, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do uh, bill x equals uh, touch dot x and bill y equals touch dot y. Why the fuck doesn't that work? Hmm. Oh, just cast it to an int. See, this is where casting comes in useful. <laughs> I'm gonna run this. And what do you know? Awesome. Uh, remember that we do draw stuff via the corner, so that's why it's like that. Okay. If you do want to have it not like that, we could just do this. Maybe it's either, it's either that or it's minus. Yeah, it's minus. So if you want to get it by the center, it's just minus half of the object. And there you go. There you go. Awesome. Another thing I want to do is actually I'm going to set this to have a static. Uh, I'm going to set this to draw 960 by 540. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, have it so when I touch it, um, it, it, it there's no texture. It gets destroyed. Okay. Well, it doesn't get destroyed, but there'll be no texture. Okay. Now this is going to be some very uh, annoying code okay so if touch dot x is smaller than or equal to um, the x coordinate of bill so that's 960 okay uh, and touch dot x is smaller than sorry is touch dot x is bigger than 960 and is touch dot x smaller than or equal to uh, 960 plus the width, which is 128. Okay, and 
uh, touch dot y is bigger than or equal to uh, the y which is 540 and touch dot y small than or equal to y 540 plus height 128 Whew, okay so that, that was a that was an annoying formula <laughs> so now after that we're just going to do assets dot build dot set color color dot white in fact color dot clear all right so when we touch it I just want it to system out print then for now stop touching me yes this is meant to be suggestive um so when we run it uh yeah indeed if we press outside nothing happens press inside there we go awesome so that works awesome that that's done we're done with the mouse awesome uh, so that's the keyboard the mouse uh, what else we got we've got the accelerometer left we're gonna do that soon uh, what are the forms of input we've got um, I have no idea uh, but this also works with touchscreen uh, so on your Android or iOS device uh, or touchscreen display uh, this will work perfectly fine uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching feel free to leave a like comment or even subscribe have a fantastically brilliant day guys I'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye